You're watching Gold Rush and Russian. We're recapping the season 13 episode. Here's Johnny. So what happened? For some unfathomable reason, Cousin Mike drives an excavator into the middle of a settling pond and it sinks into the muck. It's pulled out with the help of two excavators and two dozers. And a cleanup of the seemingly non-existent gold mining finds 499.84 ounces. So instead of seeing them find this gold, we only get to watch them rooting around in the mud and producing nothing. I might as well be watching Oak Island. The Clayton brothers bring in two recent high school graduate friends to work the night shift at Golden Acres. Shut it down. The feeder input shaft is broken. They do some welding and drilling and threading. And a cleanup finds 7.2 ounces. Golden Acres? More like Golden Acres. <laughs> Stupid. And if you care, the Clayton brothers and Fred renegotiate their whiskey wager. The winner is the first one to 200 ounces. In the latest attempt to salvage Fred's disastrous gold mining adventure, Johnny, the guy they all but fired in Fred's first season, returns this season to save it. He's given the title of mine manager, which means it seems he runs the gold room, water pump, and the fuel truck, which he immediately gets stuck in the mud. Do you like watching sad, childish arguing between Johnny and Fred's son? If so, this episode is great. And a campfire cleanup finds 10.075 ounces. Then finally, this is Dakota Fred, and you're watching Gold Rush in a Rush. Wait, hey, is this show still on? Sadly, this week it was released that Dakota Fred was diagnosed with stage 4 brain cancer. Despite being unfairly edited as the villain of the show, he's always been a favorite of mine since he first arrived on Gold Rush. And he was kind enough to make several video promos for my nothing of a YouTube show. I'll be sending prayers to him and his family, and if you want to send him well wishes as well, you can do so at facebook.com slash Dakota Fred. Tune in next time to Gold Rush in a Rush, where you just might learn a new swear word. Sigh. It's such downer news. This show's never been as good since Dakota Fred left it. Go ahead and leave your positive vibes down below, and I'll be back again next week.